Hi, I'm Alan Whiting from Outback Travel Australia. This is the new D-Max. Come along for the ride. As the displays show, the new D-Max bristles with electronic driving aids and we've explained them in great detail on the website. Also, the system warns you if you're abusing it, like taking your hands off the wheel. Ride and handling were very good on smooth roads. When empty, part loaded and fully loaded. But the ride firmed up noticeably with a full load on board. The suspension wasn't so happy on patchy bitumen and on rough dirt. Smooth dirt was fine, but potholes, ruts and corrugations upset it. The D-Max handled our off-road test track with ease when empty and also when loaded. The only issue we had with this LSU variant was the ground clearance, particularly under the side steps. But the LSM model doesn't have side steps, so it's a better option for this sort of work. I love the engine bay. It's one of the best set out engine bays in the business. It's got a fuel filter with a primer on it. So if you had to drain water out of the filter, you can reprime, fix it in the bush. Batteries big, easy to get to, air cleaners accessible. It's great. We've found three problems with the D-Max. Fortunately, all easily fixed. First one, headlights, like every other four-wheel drive, totally inadequate for bush use, but 
driving lights are readily available and cheap these days. The second one is the engine air intake, which has this seal around it. So it gets a ram effect from air coming through the grill and forces the air into the air inlet. Great, unless you're doing a water crossing, in which case the water will be ferried in by this seal. Bad thing. Easily fixed, snorkel, which is what you should have on a bush vehicle anyhow. And the third problem is the standard suspension, also easily fixed. Come and have a look. And here's one we prepared earlier, an aftermarket snorkel. And as you can see, the breathing is quite safe. The standard suspension uses two main leaves and a very thick inverted helper. The aftermarket Tough Dog suspension has a more conventional multi-leaf variable rate spring. It handled our test course a little more easily, thanks in part to an extra 40 millimetres of ground clearance. This is the D-Max X-Terrain model, top shelf. It's got all the fruit, starting with this Butte roller shutter tonneau. And it comes with a tray liner, tailgate liner, and quite a smart looking sports bar and combing arrangement. the Hue Butte flash black wheels and leather faced seats front and rear with the driver's seat being powered. The rear seats fold and can split fold for cargo space and there's a bit of secure storage under the seats as well. And the seat backs can fold forward as well. The new D-Maxes are much more refined than they used to be but still have the durable three litre diesel. We'd go for the six speed automatic rather than the manual. It's a beautiful self shifter. We'd definitely fit a snorkel and we'd also go for an aftermarket suspension to improve the rough road and dirt road ability. Good machine.